Cloudflare and Webflow, two of my favorite tools to build and manage websites, but they're incompatible and that's not acceptable. You lose out on all the performance improvements, SEO and security improvements. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I did to get Webflow and Cloudflare working together seamlessly. Now, two disclaimers. The first one, this is a different solution than Milk Moon Studio has put together. And I'll touch on that a little bit more later. And the second is at the time of recording this, I haven't made this solution publicly available yet. I wanna test through it a little bit more, but if you're interested in it, click the link below and I'll notify you when it's ready. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make it available yet, but I'll let you know. So the need for my solution came about because I'm doing this affiliate marketing thing on my blog where I'm featuring all of these templates and there's a lot of images and I needed the performance boost on my Webflow site. And that's exactly what we got. Here are my lighthouse scores. Everything's crushing it. Best practices is down just because I have a blocker on, so it's logging some stuff to the console, but my performance, basically everything is 100. So this is really good, and this is because of my setup that I'm going to share with you. Now, the problem is once you try to use Cloudflare with Webflow, and I'm saying Cloudflare, I mean with the proxy on, you could just use it for DNS and it won't interfere, but as soon as you go to turn the proxy on the orange clouds, two things are gonna happen. The first is that the sitemap is going to start outputting HTTP links instead of HTTPS because you need to disable SSL on your website. If you enable it and link up Cloudflare, Cloudflare Webflow will regenerate the certificate I think every 90 days and they're going to have a problem doing that when the Cloudflare is proxied. So you have to turn SSL off but with SSL off the links will show HTTP in your sitemap. Not great for SEO because when Google crawls them they're going to be hitting redirects. And the second problem is all the images that are on your page are hosted on on a domain other than yours. So if we look at the HTML at this Webflow site, we can see all of these URLs are uploads-ssl.webflow.com. And this is important to recognize because Cloudflare will only optimize stuff that's running through your domain. So if this image is coming through another domain, they're not going to have access to it to provide all of the Cloudflare benefits. And my solution fixes both of those. So it'll update the sitemap and it'll make these links show up on your domain without relying on any third party apps. So if you search for Cloudflare Webflow, the second result is this Milk Moon Studio. Amazing tutorial. This is really great. This is like the only one out there that's showing you how to do this. However, I wanted to take a different approach because one of the things it has you doing is relying on this cassette app. And I just wanted something to run like natively in my Cloudflare account. I didn't want to have to use a different app. And I think there was something else in here that I wasn't stoked on. It might be the fact that they re-enable SSL, I believe, after they hook it up and I feel like that should cause a problem, but these guys update their articles. So maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, with Cloudflare workers, you're able to manipulate the web pages before they're delivered to the user. So somebody goes to the website, Cloudflare gets to the website, and then the worker sits in between the user and the website. And they say, okay, change the sitemap up a little bit or change the URLs on the page. And as a result, if we were to look at my images, they are now serving from an address that is slash CDN dash CGI slash image, which is Cloudflare's pre-configured subdirectory that they automatically run their own image optimization worker on. So I'm using image resizing, which they'll automatically do when it's available at that subdirectory. And you can see that the stats are working. They're actively compressing, resizing, and serving the images from the Cloudflare edge versus from the Webflow CDN. And if you look closely in the URL, it actually has the Webflow address in it. And that's kind of how you format the URL is you put the Webflow asset URL at the end of it, and then Cloudflare handles grabbing that image, doing whatever you ask it to do and serving it from their CDN. Okay, and the second thing is if we go to my sitemap, we'll see that all of the links are outputting with the S. So this is because of my Cloudflare worker. And just to prove that I have SSL off, here is my Webflow account with SSL off, and it is indeed the Cloudflare worker, which is this one right here that is intercepting the request at the sitemap. And then it's just switching out all of HTTP for HTTPS and boom. Now I have a website that is crushing it with Cloudflare. I have all of the optimization stuff on. I mean, the fact that I can turn on Mirage and HTTP3 and the early hints. I mean, this is going to be, I think, good for SEO. There's just so much that Cloudflare is providing that my website is now able to take advantage of because of two workers. I know you're probably stoked. You really want to get your hands on this. It just, I don't, it's not ready yet. I just want to test through it and I want to figure out how I want to release it. I might sell it. I don't know, but click the link link below, put your name in there and I'll email you when it's ready so you can convert your Webflow site to using Cloudflare with the proxy on. Peace.